What's up, fellas? Uh, your commissioner of Beast Boys Fantasy Football 2018 here. Uh, Richie Guns Fox, sole commissioner. Got that trash. Jeremy the Suburban Sledgehammer Leva out of the way, so things can finally be done right in this piece of shit fucking league. Um, so, yeah, just wanted to post a quick video, make sure everything's working correctly, and make sure, um, you know, people are actually watching it, so I'm not sitting here talking to my fucking self for 10 to 15 minutes a week jerking off. So, uh, yeah, a few quick updates. Um, rosters are in, uh, so make sure you go in there, and I'd make sure I didn't give you the wrong Adrian Peterson, and apparently there's a David Johnson linebacker on Pittsburgh, just to let you guys know, because I didn't. Um, that was a tricky one. I also inadvertently put Bobby's team onto James's team, so I had to go back and fix that, but we should be all good. Um, even though it didn't really matter anyway, neither of you are going to win. But, you know, I figured I'd give you a fighting chance, except for James. He's going to lose regardless. <clears throat> so, uh, yep, rosters are up. The first poll uh, is also up. That end Saturday has to do with the waiver wire. Uh, for those of you who don't really understand exactly what it says, it basically... Uh, your first, your first option, I believe, is the one that says uh, the last place team will always have the first waiver, which I think is kind of stupid. Um, so that should give you an idea of how I voted, just because uh, it's your own fault if you're in last place. That or you had really shitty luck, um, Steve. It's probably going to be in last place this year if I had to guess. Um, the second option is what I think is the right option, which is uh, every time you make a pickup, you go back to the 10th waiver, or the, the last waiver. Um, have to kind of wait your turn in line to become that first waiver again. Uh, it looks like it's going that direction anyway, so I didn't feel bad about telling you my opinion. Uh, thank you to the seven non-scumbags who decided to vote, um, and to the three scumbags who just can't follow simple goddamn directions. Go fuck yourself. You're out of the league. It's a, you're out. Um, no, I'm just kidding. No, but seriously, um, yeah. So, uh, Figured might as well make a point out of doing this video. So uh, I'm going to do like a quick power rankings, or at least what my opinion is of the power rankings. I'm going to leave myself out of it because I look at my team and I think it's absolutely fantastic. And I put myself at number one, but I'm pretty sure everyone feels that way when they look at their team. Um, except for Steve, who picked the kicker in the fifth round. So I'm going to go not like a total one to ten, but I'm just going to do who I think are the couple of the best teams and then... Uh, <laughs> the worst team, um, which I think should be pretty obvious. We'll get there. So I have it on my phone in front of me because I did not memorize your team, so if I look down a lot, my bad. So uh, the two teams, when I submitted them, I'm like, God damn, they have a pretty good team. I got to start off with uh, Mr. Bukaki himself, James Hanshio. He, he, did, he did a good job, man. He uh, took David Johnson and Odell in the first couple of rounds. You know, security with Hilton and Collins, who I think Collins is kind of underrated. And then got a good quarterback in Andrew Luck. Joe Mixon, potential like second or third round pick. He got in the sixth round. Uh, Trey Burton at his tight end. I mean, he's got a pretty solid lineup. So as long as he doesn't fuck it up, I, I definitely see success in Mr. Hanshu's future and maybe get him into the playoffs. Um, I don't think he'll ever win a championship, you know, but the outlook looks good this year uh, for him. And then I think I said it a few times, <coughs> excuse me, at the draft, but Mr. Double Double, Shane Lake, year after year puts together a solid team, and he uh, he did it again this year, man. He uh, started out with Antonio Brown, fantastic pick, and somehow got Melvin Gordon in the second round right before I could take him, which is an unbelievable first couple of picks. Um, you know, he got Tyreek Hill, McKinnon. And then he picked up Carson Wentz and said, eh, I'm not sure if he's going to start. So I picked up Matt Ryan just to make sure he can hold off until Wentz comes back. Uh, overall, I, I think he did a pretty good job, man. He even took Jamal Williams in the later rounds. He could be a starting running back for Green Bay. So uh, he, he took Mike uh, Giusecki. I'm not sure who that is, but you know he'll probably just drop him anyway, so it really doesn't matter. But uh, overall, I think he did a pretty, a pretty stand-up job. Uh, Hello, how are you? Other entertainment members are Nope. Nope, I think it's just you. Uh-oh. I feel like that's not a good sign. Eh. Nah. Okay.
continuing on. Um, I gotta give uh, I gotta give a little dark horse uh, team award here to uh, Ronald. Uh, picking up started with Todd Gurley, Devontae Adams, Jordan Howard, Adam Thielen, uh, Royce Freeman. Year after year, uh, Ronald. Control that you answer weather condition green, weather code green at 3.53 p.m. One more fucking interruption. Year after year, Ronald continues to disappoint, but I think this year could just be his turnaround. He's going to be my uh, my dark horse team, man. I have, I, have a, I have a good outlook on Ron this year. But that being said, let me move on to the worst team. And I'm not just saying this because I don't want you to win, Steve. You are, I mean, that was, you started off fine. I mean, you, Michael Thomas, Rob Gronkowski, great picks. Tom Brady, Stephon Diggs, but kicker in the fifth round? Could have got him in like, let's say the late, like early, like ninth, tenth round. You just got overwhelmed, man. Didn't do your research. Uh, your best running back is uh, Bilal Powell. I'm pretty sure Shane took, no, maybe a round after, Shane took the, the starter for your team, Isaiah Crowell. I, look, man, I, I might be wrong, but I don't think I am, man. You uh, got awful. Just got awful. But, I mean, fuck, what do I know? You won it last year, you, you're probably going to do it again. But, um, yeah. Well, there you have it. First video of the year. Um, I just want to make a quick comment on Bobby Jarvis's team. Um, good job not picking a cowboy, but out of nowhere, you know, you, you started to definitely get flustered. I think around like round maybe eleven or twelve, where uh, Tavon Austin and Cole Beasley came off the board. I, I assume you just kind of didn't know where to go, so you figured, "Fuck it, I'll pick some cowboys up," and then you picked up the Cowboys defense. So, uh, let's see what happened there. Well, alrighty. Um, Sorry if I didn't comment on your team, but uh, Hello. hey, how you doing, sir? Good, how's it going? Good. No one's been in this room all day. Now that I'm doing this video, they have. So, anyway, have yourself a uh, good rest of your day, good rest of your week. Um, I'll be updating you guys next week on the uh, the matchups and all that other jazz so peace